In the next few minutes, I will help you understand what cloud infrastructure is, its benefits and challenges, and how zero trust solutions like Twingate can reduce your attack surface and make cloud security more efficient. My name is Paul Andre Devere, the head of growth at TwinGates. Cloud infrastructure security frameworks make it easier to protect your cloud assets from modern security threats. These systems can address many challenges the cloud creates from inconsistent security policies to regulatory compliance. However, using traditional perspectives on network security may leave gaps that cyber criminals can exploit. Now let's learn how to avoid repeating the mistakes of old security perimeter frameworks. As organizations move more of their infrastructure to the cloud, their traditional on-prem security frameworks could not adapt to distributed architectures. A different approach was needed to address security in this new environment. Cloud infrastructure security is a framework that combines policies, best practices, and technologies to ensure cloud resources, including computing environments, applications, and databases, remain secure against internal and external cloud security threats. This shouldn't be confused with cloud security services that offer various network security services through a software as a service business model. Many aspects of this framework will already be familiar to network security professionals. Governance and regulatory compliance, business continuity and disaster recovery, data retention and loss prevention, role-based access control, identity and access management, threat intelligence prevention, detection and mitigation, and security information and event management. In addition, several cloud security solutions address unique aspects of cloud infrastructure. Gartner coined the term Cloud Security Posture Management, CSPM, to describe solutions that scan the misconfiguration and compliance issues across multiple infrastructures. Cloud Access Security Brokers, part of the broader SASE framework, addresses the problem of access control when organizations source cloud solutions from multiple providers. The history of IT over the past two decades have been one of the increasing abstraction and decentralization. Applications and databases run on dedicated systems. Now, those applications run on cloud computing platforms and are outsourced completely to cloud service providers. Abstraction also transformed the network itself as hardware appliances were replaced by the software. Networks also mitigate to the cloud as organizations made the internet part of their network infrastructure. Cloud services offered many financial benefits that accelerated this trend. Organizations could reduce their capital expenses significantly. Service providers took the responsibility for building the physical computing and storage resources, reducing their customers' capital expenses. Subscription models shifted many IT costs from capital expenses to operational expenses. Shifting to the cloud infrastructure also made sense for organization security. Cloud service providers spread the cost of advanced security technologies and expertise across their customer base. As a result, they can maintain stronger security posture with less risk of breach for the largest enterprises. Operationally, adopting a cloud infrastructure lets organizations achieve efficiencies they could not with on-prem resources. Employees have better, more performant access no matter where they work. DevOps practices rely on virtual systems to automate processes at a scale that could never be done manually. As we will see later in this video, however, these benefits come with trade-offs that add complexity to enterprise security. You can see this complexity by viewing cloud computing through the two perspectives, cloud computing service models and cloud computing environments. The first category is based on how different cloud service providers approach the market. Each of these as a service business models gives its customers varying degrees of control, and with that, varying degrees of security responsibilities. Software as a Service, SaaS. Rather than running application in-house, organizations can subscribe to a SaaS provider's services. In this model, customers have little control over the SaaS application or the security infrastructure supporting it. That is almost entirely the SaaS provider's responsibility. Cloud security for SaaS focuses on access control policies. Platform as a service, PaaS. Enterprise can use PaaS providers' environments to develop and run their own cloud applications with scalability they could never afford on their own. PaaS providers ensure that their infrastructure is protected and offer security tools such as virtual VPN, gateways for their customers to use. However, organizations are responsible for the security of their past development and production environments. Infrastructure as a service. These services let companies build virtual computing, storage, and network infrastructures. 
Providers take responsibility for the security of their own physical infrastructure. Protecting the virtual machines, maintaining operating systems, managing network security, and other tasks are the customer's responsibility. The second way of looking at cloud infrastructure is from the organization's perspective. Companies can move to the cloud in many different ways, but most cloud environments fall into the following categories. Public cloud, a third-party provider offers a service running on a shared infrastructure that is allocated to customers on demand and then rebounds to other customers. Providers have systems to isolate customers from each other. Depending on the service type, organizations may apply additional layers to isolate themselves from their neighbors. Private cloud. Shared environments may be unacceptable for some organizations. A third-party provider's private cloud assigns the organization's services to a dedicated infrastructure. The division of responsibilities remains the same as a public cloud, but there is no need to add another layer of isolation. Hybrid cloud. Organizations can combine a service provider's public cloud and private cloud offerings. This lets organizations run sensitive applications privately while running less sensitive applications on the public cloud. An organization can manage the balance of its own or in partnership with the service provider. Multi-cloud. Few cloud service providers can be all things to all customers. As a result, most organizations have multi-cloud infrastructures that combine services from several different cloud service providers. In this environment, an organization's security teams must stitch together a consistent security strategy that covers separate cloud services. Some organizations can take a cloud-centric approach to infrastructure security. Many others still depend on legacy systems. Ideally, on-prem resources should be protected by the same security framework as the cloud infrastructure. In today's cloud computing environment, organizations have less control over their infrastructure and security than they had in the past. Cloud security providers control their physical infrastructure as well as its security. Organizations get little visibility, much less control than other aspects of SaaS security. Traditional security frameworks simply do not work anymore. Security perimeter technologies and practices assume a physical network can be isolated from external threats. In today's decentralized virtualized cloud environments, the perimeter is meaningless. Cloud infrastructure face threats from all directions. To protect the organization's cloud security strategy must address four core objectives. Provide and control access. Anywhere, any access is a benefit of the cloud, but it becomes a weakness when anyone gets access. Cloud security strategies need policies and technologies that allow authorized users to access the resources they need for their work while providing unauthorized access. Protect data. With the right data policies, cloud storage should be more secure than on-prem data centers, making organizations more resilient to natural disasters and other disruptions. Data retention policies minimize the amount of data at risk. Backup and data recovery policies minimize the duration of impact and disruptions. Prevent and mitigate attacks. Security requires constant vigilance, especially when company resources live in the cloud. Organizations must monitor the threat landscape continuously. Given the persistence and sophistication of modern cyber criminals, focusing on the prevention is not enough. Organizations must monitor their infrastructure around the clock to identify and mitigate security breaches quickly. Compliance. Regulations such as GDPR and standards such as SOC 2 require organizations to have effective IT controls for managing and protecting customer data. Demonstrating compliance requires systems that monitor conformity to security, process integrity, privacy, and other standards. In some respects, cloud security risks are nothing new. Many of the risks and challenges of organizations face while securing their on-prem infrastructure are also present in the cloud. However, the amorphous nature of cloud computing security adds unique challenges. Visibility. Security teams have less visibility into many aspects of the cloud service provider's infrastructure. SaaS providers may be completely opaque while infrastructure as a service providers typically offer security monitoring tools. Dynamic workloads. In the cloud, virtual instances are spun up and down as needed, making security technologies based on the ports and IP addresses less effective. Shared security roles. Responsibilities for security vary from cloud and cloud service to another. Any misunderstanding in an organization's responsibility can result in misconfigurations and other security gaps. Complexity of multi and hybrid cloud security. Each cloud service provider has its own security systems that may not play well with each other. 
Security teams must find ways to bring every aspect of their on-prem and cloud infrastructure within the same security framework. Shadow IT. Many cloud services are not adopted through the, an organization's IT planning process. Instead, services pitch themselves to the end user in hopes that they will find a service too valuable to do without. This creates the risk of sensitive data that will migrate outside the organization's established controls. Governance and Compliance. All these security issues hinder governance could compromise the organization's compliance efforts. Shadow IT could leak customer information. Poorly understood security roles and poor visibility make controls less effective. Despite these challenges, implementing a cloud infrastructure security plan can improve your business. Security is easier to manage, your company's data is better protected, and business performance improves. Unifying security across your cloud infrastructure simplifies the setting and enforcement of security policies. You no longer have to set provider-specific policies. In their place, a single policy can apply to every cloud service provider. Cloud security systems also give you more visibility across your infrastructure. You can see employees' attempts to add shadow IT. Automated monitoring systems identify configuration problems and suspicious activity, quickly escalating issues that cannot be mitigated automatically. A unified approach to cloud security will reduce your attack surface and minimize cyber risks. Replacing provider-specific access controls with a central IAM system lets you apply granular role-based access control rules. Data loss prevention, backup practices, and data recovery systems reduce the risk of lost data and limit the impact of ransomware. Better visibility and monitoring can also help you ensure you remain in compliance with data privacy regulations and AICPA control standards. Secure perimeter technologies have been rigid and fragile in face of modern IT trends. Designed for the cloud, this new security framework offers the scalability and availability of services it protects. In addition, cloud security technologies can integrate with CI-CD pipelines to become more responsive elements of DevSoc practices. Cloud infrastructure security also offers financial benefits. Capital expenses decline since fewer infrastructure investments are needed. At the same time, cloud security's automated systems reduce administrative overhead and let companies reallocate their operational budgets to more productive goals. Too often, companies view cloud security through the same lens they always used, the security perimeter. This results in architectures that protect cloud networks behind virtual VPN gateways. They may have a more unified cloud security system, but the system has the same vulnerabilities their on-prem networks suffer. Implementing cloud security with zero trust network access eliminates these vulnerabilities and makes cloud infrastructures more accessible, secure, and efficient. What's important here are the three core principles of ZTNA. Assume breach, verify explicitly, least privilege access. Modern cybersecurity threats are so pervasive that an attack could succeed at any time. Assuming that hackers are already in your system forces you to approach security differently. Network access controls give hackers free access to network's resources. Instead, zero trust controls access to resources and denies access by default. Every attempt to access a resource should be verified explicitly. This goes beyond authenticating user identities. The networks and devices they use contribute just as much to the security context. Only when the context meets the threshold level should be the user be allowed access. Even then, access can be granted with a broad brush. Overprivileged accounts are a significant risk. Applying these user roles and security contexts, least privileged access policies let users access the resources they need to complete their tasks and no more. Twingate secure access solutions make it easier to implement zero trust in cloud infrastructure security. Our software solution lets you automate and deployment of the management of ZTNA protections to any resources, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud. This can take the network segmentation to its ultimate conclusion a segment for each resource. Unlike a VPN, there's no need for a heavy gateway application. Proxies in the front of resources and in the Twingate client app support direct encrypted connections between the resources and the authorized users. Role-based, least privileged access controls are easy to manage through Twingate's console or integrations with your existing identity provider. Device posture checks provide additional context for authentication decisions, ensuring the right users get the access they need to your cloud infrastructure. 
as a cloud-native platform, Twinget is ready for dynamic cloud computing environments. Terraform and Pulumi providers, Circle CI compatibility, and other automation tools let you incorporate Twingate's zero trust into your DevSecOps processes. Logging APIs let you feed the connection events in real time to your SIEM solution so you can always know the who, what, when, and where of cloud access. Cloud computing offers many benefits but confronts IT teams with just as many challenges. The mix of public, private, hybrid, multi-cloud environments combine the cloud services shared security models, make securing cloud infrastructure difficult. An organization security team must understand to secure each service and how to apply security policies uniformly and across all service providers. Cloud infrastructure security provides a path to bringing every cloud service under the same security umbrella. Twingate Secure Access Solutions enhance cloud security through the principles of Zero Trust Network Access. You can apply Zero Trust tough authentication practices and least privileged access policies to granular control over each cloud resource. Automation tools, simply administrative cons consoles unify your cloud infrastructure with Zero Trust security policies. Book a demo today to learn how Twingate can make your cloud infrastructure more secure and more performant and easier to manage. Until next time, I'll see you later, Gator.